What's going on you guys? It is late night here in South Dakota and I wanted to get this uh, tune for today in. And um, I don't have my guitar with me, so I'm going to do something different tonight. And uh, this is the last song of the first week. And uh, I think it's from one of the kind of seminal names in all of music. Uh, this is Marvin Gaye too. And um, we all know the two big hits he had, but he has kind of this wild story of immense success, but all because he stood up to record labels and really wanted to pursue his music the way he heard it. <clears throat> and that's pretty cool. Um, but he really was a huge part of um, Motown becoming what it was. People often called him the Prince, Prince of Motown. Um, we know his big hit songs, but maybe not so much his story. Um, he was born in 1939, originally uh, Marvin Gaye with no E at the end of his name, just G-A-Y. And um, he was born in D.C., Washington, D.C., lived in the projects. Uh, his family had a pretty rough beginning, four kids, and uh, his, his uh, dad was a pastor. So at the age of four, uh, he would uh, sing in church, often with his dad playing piano alongside him. Uh, he then got into junior high and started taking singing really seriously, joined the Glee, cu Glee Club. Uh, his family moved, and um, he, then he ended up dropping out of school and trying to get into the Air Force. Uh, but he, he was not a man of... Uh, of uh, he didn't want to do the, the, uh, the dirty work, and so he ended up like faking a mental illness and was discharged. I uh, said he... he ref his, uh, his staff sergeant said he refused to follow orders. <laughs> so anyway, he came home and he joined a vocal quartet in D.C. called the Marquis. Um, and uh, it, this did, it just didn't take off. And um, But they did do some session work for even people like uh, Chuck Berry, which is pretty cool. Um, Marvin moved to uh, Detroit, uh, where he started doing uh, some work for uh, Barry Gordy, who was the president of Motown at the time. And... Um, and started doing some recording. Um, he was a jazz singer, but he didn't really, um, he never really, at that point, didn't want to become an R&B performer. And it was right about that time, right before he released his first song, that he added the E to the end of his name, becoming Marvin Gaye, as we see it spelled today. A lot of people said it was because people were making fun of his name and questioning his sexuality, but also uh, because at that point he'd kind of fallen out with his parents and wanted to separate himself from his dad and family name. Um, so that was, uh, let's see, that was about 1961, I think, when he released that first one, uh, his first, his first record, uh, he found some success initially, um, but he was still also doing some session work, uh, he was a drummer when he started out doing session work, it was pretty wild. He sang with, um, Tammy Terrell, a bunch of duets, um, a song you might have heard, Ain't No Mountain High Enough. <laughs> Or Ain't Nothing Like the Real Thing, and they toured around and performed, and then um, Tammy Terrell got really sick during a performance. It turned out she uh, had a malignant tumor they hadn't found, and it was really uh, kind of heartbreaking for him, uh, for, for Marvin Gaye. So they stopped singing together, and he, um, about a year after that, he recorded I Heard It Through the Grapevine, which was his first song to really take off, which is pretty cool. Um... And uh, so obviously once you start having a hit song, keep going back, keep coming in, keep doing, keep going. And uh, then 1970, um, uh, Tammy Terrell, who was his kind of singing partner for a long time there, ended up passing away. And uh, Marvin Gaye kind of disappeared for a while, tried to, um, tried to actually work for the Detroit Tigers, which is kind of, or uh, the, sorry, Detroit Lions football team, which is kind of wild to think of. Because he hadn't even had a couple of these huge hits yet. So, anyway, later that year, um, he goes and records What's Going On. He had, um, uh, one of the guys from the Four Tops had witnessed uh, police brutality in an anti-war rally in Berkeley. And that was the inspiration behind the song, which kind of a good way to wrap up the first week of doing these tunes. And uh, I would say the rest is history, but, you know, he ended up signing a huge Motown deal, um, is the most lucrative deal by a black recording artist at the time and um, just kept 
the hits coming. And, and I thought I'd share this little part too, which is kind of wild is, um, uh, after what's going on, let's got it on, let's get it on came a couple of years later. Yeah. At least, at least a couple of years later. And it was originally a gospel song. I had no idea. Originally a gospel song. And then it was, a uh, they tried to go the protest song route again. And then it ended up becoming like this funk love song, love anthem, if you will. Uh, I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, so anyway, um, I'm trying to do this without an instrument and, um, see how it goes, but a beautiful song. And, um, and at this point in time, about the most important words you can come up with in a song. So here we go. Mother, mother, there's too many of you crying. Brother, 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 there's far too many of you dying. You know we've got to find a way to bring some loving here today. Father, Father, we don't need to escalate. War is not the answer, for only love can conquer hate. You know we've got to find a way to bring some love in here today. Picket lines and picket signs don't punish me with brutality talk to me so you can see oh what's going on what's going on yeah what's going on oh what's going on yeah Mother, mother, everybody thinks we're wrong. But who were they to judge us? Simply cause our hair is long. You know we've got to find a way To bring some understanding here today. Picket lines and picket signs Don't punish me with brutality talk to me so you can see what's going on what's going on what's going on yeah what's going on mm. Mm. anyway a little something different tonight and um, that song pretty much says it all about what's going on right now. Uh, Marvin Gaye, incredible talent. And um, just kind of tragic ending. He interrupted a, uh altercation fight between his parents. And his dad shot him in his own bedroom. And uh, it turns out his dad was sick. Had a tumor. And it was not, he wasn't thinking straight. And it was just terrible. And, um, but just some incredible magic and music from this, from this man. And if you don't know the Marvin Gaye story, there's a ton more to it. And it's just incredible, uh, what he was able to do and all that he went through personal struggles and, and, um, but anyway, great way to wrap up the first week of doing these tunes. Again, I hope we're all learning something here and, um, yeah, anyway, we'll see you on the next one. Have a good night, you guys.